Hey guys, MTG Jedi here. Big shout out to my dude, Tree Fitty. Um, he, he created the meme, so I had to fit that in a, in a video somewhere for your entertainment purposes. If you guys got more uh, friendly memes, send them my way. I, I've been getting a kick out of it for a couple days now. It's been wonderful. So anyway, um, let's take a look in the game here. One of the things I want to point out is that this does not say Mythic, which means I am not pulling. Um, we want to be patient here and wait and hold off if possible. I mean, if you already pulled, you already pulled. But if you didn't pull, hold off until it says Mythic there so you can get your chance at getting the Mythic Souls, regardless of whether we'll be able to get the Mythic Champions, okay? Now, for today, we will be heading into some extra legendary pulls. Um, I don't recommend pulling on the 10x for the voids unless that one of the two of those is like your favorite champion. Now on the summon rush over here, there's really good rewards. Um, you know, I'm always trying to get eternal soul stones, soul stones, books. I'm actually a little bit low on legendary books right now. So I would like to pull up here and with the ancient shards, we are getting 40 points a piece. But this might be a time where I go extra if I have to. Um, we know that <laughs> I I did get some sacreds from Clan Boss, and I'm up there in terms of mercy right now. So it might be a good time to pull those if we need the extra points. Hopefully, we'll just get something very quickly. Okay, we should be getting update 7.5 today, but as of the time of this recording, it's not there. So. You know, who knows when it will be in-game, but it should be coming soon. Last but not least, before we jump into the shard pulls, I am participating in Faction Games 2023, and I will be on a team with Odd One as well as Cold Brew, and we are gonna wreck it. So, uh, the draft is today at 1 p.m. EST. If you're able to come out over on Deadwood Jedi's YouTube channel, I think we're streaming on YouTube. And otherwise, make sure you stick, or, stick around to the channel. Make sure you check into all of the stuff going on about the faction games. We're using epics and rares and epics and below on these factions in order to do the dungeons, hydra, and something else. What's the other thing? Arena. Oh, yeah. Arena, dungeons, and hydra. So it's going to be super fun. I'm really pumped to be involved with this. So come on out. And it'll be a blast. All right, let's pull some shards. Plenty of legendaries that we're looking for today. Can we break the Nishak curse? Can we <laughs> can we get something good? Okay, that's all I'm asking for. I'm just asking for some good pulls. We're in a bit of a drought. We haven't pulled anything reasonable for uh, months at this point. So hopefully we can get something good today. Um, Mania to mess around with in Hydra. Somebody to empower. That's good. Um, you know, a second copy of Duchess would be insane. There are plenty of champions who I only have one copy of. You know, like, actually, at the top of my list, I would really love Sun Wukong as, uh, so I could build two of them. I'm loving my Hydra build, and I would love to actually use him in Arena. He's got good multipliers. He's got a great kit. Um, he buff strips, which I love. I'm, I love a good buff stripper in Raid. But it's always interesting seeing who people's double legendary pulls are. So make sure you share that with me in the comments below. We only got 23, and then we got to go find some more shards. So we are going to get a double legendary. And if you're going to go in on the double legendary event, I suggest you either pull till you get it or avoid it because going halfway is rough. Now on, on this particular one, it's not as bad because we do have the, the midweek summon rush, which is cool. So I need some more shards before we can move on here and try to get get our legendaries and see who the double Lego is. 
All right, Gems, good job. You did your job. You you fulfilled your purpose. So let's see what happens with the rest of it. Um. Okay. Got Orn. Somebody was telling me in the comments the other day how much they were loving their Massiliac priest, Orn. I never really used him anywhere, but, like, obviously he's decent, but I never really thought of him as that good. Wow, three epics in a row on a on a 10x. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, also, let's talk about the faction games here while we're pulling some shards. What would your preferred faction be? If you were me, what faction would you pick for Ice Golem and Hydra or any of the other dungeons? I'm very curious about what your opinions are. And I would, um, I would love to hear them. So, come on, give me, give me the extra Lego here on this ten pole. Let's, let's be done with it. Bildrax, Ranox, no. Okay, let's keep it going. Ooh, that was a close one. I almost forgot to unpause it. Uh, oh, we're one short of the two ten poles. Um, let's just do something about that. Uh, yeah, it's fine. They're just rares. They're just rares. Okay, cool. So, two ten pulls and one extra legendary. <laughs> right? I hope so. See what happens, though. Got Obo Turlac. I like that guy. He's good. Bang Cleric. A reasonable champion. All right, we got a Yaga up in the house. Oh, geez, it's one of those days. It's one of those days. Do I need, like, a Limp Biscuit clip in here? Just one of those days. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. As always, if you need to know the prices on the pack offers, head over to my website, mtgjedi.com. We got the breakdowns over there for all of the most common packs. And then in my Discord, under the Pack Offer section, we have all the talking um, and breakdowns. You can ping me, and I'll answer any questions you have about packs. We get the conversation flowing over there. But what's not flowing is the legendaries. Jeez. Everything is... Everybody sucks. I mean, when I said I wanted to max out the event, this is not what I meant. <laughs> this is not what I meant here. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. All right, so, who's it gonna be? Another copy of Phoenix and Carolina. You know, I mean, honestly, the chickens are good. We could always use more chickens. But it's about time for those gold champions to appear here, Polarium. Like, am I am I going crazy? Am I being uh, marauded? No, it's extra legendary from Ancients. Okay, just make sure I'm not going crazy here. It's just one of those days, feeling like a freight train. Okay, I'm, I feel like we're going to hit Mercy here. Mercy! Mercy! Help me, Polarium. All right. Oh jeez. I know you guys I know you guys go through this sometimes too. There we go. We got Black Knight, Virgum Car, and Shamrock! Wow, what a cool pull! We got three! Alright, now Shamrock is new. That is definitely a win. Virgum Car and Black Knight, I feel like I have already. Let's go take a look. We pulled every single bit of those. Of those ancient shards. Okay, so we have Shamrock. Let's go take a look at the Faction Guardians and see if we got any buffs. No, unfortunately, no buffs, but we're, we're good on those factions. I still just, just need orcs for the most part. There's a couple more that I need, but we're closing in. Actually, I have none in Sylvan Watchers, and probably most of you don't either. But I, I need orcs, I need Sylvan Watchers, and I think that's it. Oh no, I need Ogren as well. So, 
Uh, but yeah, I, I'm hoping that we maxed out the event after pulling all of those. All right. Well, so that, that kind of makes it worth it. We're getting extra resources here. We got an eternal soul stone, which obviously is a valuable resource. That'll give us a second one for when we actually go and pull some soul stones. I'm hoping that's going to be tomorrow, but I don't know. This update is definitely late today. So let me know what you got on your double pulls or if you're skipping, that's fine too. And I will see you guys in the next video. It's just one of those days.